This week on Jim Wright Live, I interview our very own CEO, John David Hare, to learn all about our brand new digital platform, SiteRight.io, that's gonna change the online game for gym owners around the globe. It's a big day for us here today. We can't wait to share everything with you. But before we get into that, I'd like to give a warm thank you to SiteRight.io also as our official sponsor for this show. Every gym owner deserves a great website, and now there is no excuse not to have one. Upgrade your online presence by going to SiteRight.io today. All right, let's get this party started. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Jim Wright Live. I am your host, Marcus Gersey, and this week we welcome to the show John David Hare, CEO of Jim Wright and SiteRight.io. I've had the privilege, uh, privilege to know and work with John David for several years now, and he's proven to be not only a fantastic business partner, but also a strong leader and a dear friend. He has some really exciting news to share with all of you today, so I'm excited to get into it. JD, welcome to the show. Thanks, Marcus. Glad to be here. First time. First time on the show, long time listener. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough, yeah. So JD, you, you've always been uh, behind the scenes, right? So, I mean, a lot of people who are watching this, unless you've, uh, you know, you've worked with us in the past, uh, in which case they probably have interfaced with you in one way or another. Um, but for a lot of the people, they don't know you yet. You've always been behind the scenes, but we've been working together for many years at this point. Um, and you have now given, uh, with what we're announcing today with SiteRight.io, um, you're kind of spearheading that whole side of the house, or if, if you will, and uh, people are probably going to see a little bit more of you here in the, uh, in the future. So um, before we get into uh, you know, SiteRight.io and, and everything you've got announced today, I, I wanted to start off with a little bit of background on, on you, on us, uh, just so everyone can really get to know you. So, uh, JD, we have, you and I met several years ago and, and started working together and, uh, you know, we, we really built this thing from the ground up. It started off as a, I mean, a micro operation at the time, and it's gone through many different iterations. Uh, but, uh, I'll let you kind of tell the story if you will. Yeah. So we actually met, um, you were a client. Uh, That's right. You hired us uh, to do work uh, for you and uh, Scott mm -hmm. uh, when you were at CrossFit Active Performance. Uh, and that was when I was just a one man shop, just kind of uh, doing my thing. I, and the way the reason I got started in this business, I was uh, I was in the corporate world. I retired from the corporate world at a, a fairly young age. Didn't really have much to do. So started doing CrossFit. I was doing some consulting work. And in my experience with CrossFit is I realized that it's a premium service. It's, it's not inexpensive to, to belong to a CrossFit. It's a lot more cost effective, maybe not from a, a, a results perspective, to, to belong to some other types of gyms. Uh, and what I saw at the gym that I attended was it, really the experience didn't match the price point. And mm -hmm. that kind of got my blood uh, you know, boiling, boiling a little bit. And... I had a lot of time on my hands, so I started thinking up ways where I could maybe improve that or automate things and that kind of stuff. And so I built a kind of an entry level uh, automation package with Infusionsoft and I taught myself Infusionsoft and I spent hours and hours and uh, went to an agency and had them start building me stuff and spent lots of money uh, to, to then just kind of tack an automation system onto a current website. Uh, so whatever the client's current website was. So with yours at Active Performance, you said, hey, we do all this stuff and we have all this automation. We're, we're running through spreadsheets and all of that. And could you help us? And so then we went down the road and uh, spent a lot of hours taking all your spreadsheet stuff and trying to automate a lot of it. So uh, I think at the time we saved you you know, 20 hours a week in, in spreadsheet work, which was great. Uh, and then uh, you approached me in uh, the end of 2014 and said, hey, I think I could sell this system for you and help you market the system. And so we, and then that's when we started, January 1st, 2015. And then um, it's been a wild ride ever since, right to this point. 100%. <laughs> so, oh, geez. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. At so the time, been, yeah, uh, you, you'd fun. built a really great platform. You know, I, I as a, a, a CrossFit gym owner at the time, you know, we, we were doing really well, but it was really cumbersome. 
and you know you had built that that original iteration of uh, you know what ended up becoming uh, you know it was Iron Logic became uh, Barbell Logic and then became we became Jim Wright as again the evolutions kind of happened and um, it was it was a profound difference for us at the time because of how much energy it took for us to do what we did it was all manual it was me doing all of these systems and check-ins and communications and all that literally manually. And I had this really complicated workflow with different spreadsheets and pulling reports and um, it worked very well, but it was just a pain in, in my rear. And you were able to solve that problem and save us a tremendous amount of time and energy. And it was really also a, a kind of a breakthrough point for us at Active where we were then able to scale a, a lot more. We were able to go from, you know, doing very well to, I mean, really kicking ass in, in our marketplace uh, because of what, you know, what we were able to, to build and, and kind of turn this thing into, which then it, we added the website component to it. Um, and it just kind of kept going and going. Um, now with, with all of that, so now we, you know, we, with Barbell Logic, I think a lot of people, that's how a lot of people found us. Um, and we, we got a lot of momentum there. Um, and then with Jim Wright, we refined it. And now it's, you know, we have everyone on the current iteration, which is called the platform. And um, this, for people watching this, you know, when, when we first put that out on the scene, uh, it was the first of its kind. There was nobody else out there who was doing web and uh, marketing automation as a single service like this. Um, and even at the time, you know, when, uh, you know, we were working very closely with Infusionsoft, um, you know, even from someone from their team had said like, this is the most comprehensive Infusionsoft build out they'd ever seen. It, you know, what we built took, I mean, literally thousands of hours of, of, of experience and literally building campaigns and all that. It was a tremendous undertaking and it, it revolutionized the space. And now you guys for the last year have been doing that again. You and the team have been on the back end and, uh, you know, there were some problems you guys wanted to solve. So tell us a little bit about SiteRight.io and what you guys have been up to this last year. Okay. Um, well, uh, I would start with um, kind of what we currently have, right? So we have, uh, you have a website that's tied in with the, the big automation package, just like you mentioned. Um, and why did we decide to do both? Because when we started, when I started, it was just the automation piece. Mm -hmm. Well, what we found was sites out there were so different in every gym and, and different, you know, levels of quality and different, just everything was so just disjointed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that it was, it was getting more difficult to tie our system into sites. So that's when we said, okay, we'll just build our own site that matches what we've already built. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we went out to do. And to a certain point of growth, it awesome. We could do that all day, right? I, we could build the site, we could do the automation, we could deliver it. Uh, but if we wanted to make an enormous impact in the community, which we want to, uh, we want everybody to be able to have access to this type of you know best practices for your business. Uh, we couldn't scale up. It just was too expensive. And it's uh, the systems that we, the, the tools that we used uh, weren't scalable in some ways. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have uh, an end, we're at the high, we're basically at the high point of uh, the price point. Okay, so we're, we're an expensive product uh, by comparison assuming that you're comparing apples to apples and um, it's not scalable for us beyond a certain number. We just have to keep hiring people and hiring people. And there's no way we could get to 10,000 units. There's no way we could get to 5,000 units. It just is not possible. Mm -hmm. So as we sat back and assessed, and this started uh, in May of 2017, mm -hmm. uh, when uh, you and I had dinner with Mariano, who's our CTO now, mm -hmm. uh, and we talked about our tool set. You know, what, what could we do better? There's gotta be better solutions out there. Now, Mariano comes from a background of working with big companies like Universal Music and NBC Sports, uh, Nestle, big multinational conglomerates and building uh, systems for them to be able to manage hundreds and thousands of websites at scale. Mm -hmm. That was his job. And he helped architect all those things for those, uh, for those companies. And so he said, well, look, here's what I would do. This is kind of how I would build it. And so we said, okay, um, that sounds a lot better than what we have uh, for a variety of reasons. 
And so we hired him on in uh, January of 2018, he started, okay? Mm -hmm. And his job was to assess what we're currently doing, tighten that up. We brought all of our support for our system in-house. Uh, we had a third party company doing that. We brought it all in-house and his job is to uh, build a better mousetrap, if you will, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, with the goal being, we want the gym owner and their members and their leads and their prospects to have a seamless digital experience from the minute they hit their website to far beyond them even being a member at the gym. And so that's our ultimate goal. But it starts, the foundation starts with the website uh, because that is frankly the most difficult piece to the entire thing. It is difficult to build a nice website. Uh, to build a great website and to have everything that you, all the content in the right place at the right time and, and displaying properly and all the different uh, uh, breakpoints and, and other things, it's a complicated process. So we needed to build something that was scalable and that's what we've done and that's what we're about to deliver to this community. Uh, and so the benefit to them is it's easier to use than what our current so solution is. Uh, the way that we've constructed it, it's going to be faster. It's going to be uh, a lot less expensive. Okay, mm -hmm. so which is great. So now we get to make a bigger impact. Um, the uh, from a you know again it goes back to now we're going to blaze a new trail because uh, one of the things that I see every day is that people go out and build their own website, right? Mm -hmm. The gym owner does, or they trade a membership for uh, one of their members to to build them a site, right? Those folks typically are not fitness website builders, <laughs> right? That isn't their job. They could just put together a Wix site or something like that. That is our job. We've put in our 10,000 hours. That's all we've been doing for the last four years, four and a half years. So we're excited because uh, this is something revolutionary to the fitness space. It isn't revolutionary in the world uh, because other big companies use a similar type of platform. Uh, but we've built this specifically for the fitness industry and really specifically for the, the members of the network. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great community. We want to support this community. We have about 1,800 people in it now. We want to, you know, we want other gym owners to join us. Uh, but I, I am committed to supporting this group because it's the, it's the most healthy group or forum I have seen out there for gym owners. Because uh, you get into other forums and it can be like being in the duck pond and everybody's quacking. Uh, but this is, it, it's, it's something we should be proud of. And I want to support those folks because they've supported us. Love it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot you said in there. I, I, I'd love to kind of pick apart a little bit, um, uh, particularly what you said about, you know, first off, the websites being difficult. I think some people may be listening going like, oh, so what's the big deal about a website? How hard is it to put together a website these days? Um, it's not that it's that it's difficult as in maybe technically, you know, and for some technically it's it's too hard to, you know, whether it's using a template or, you know, building something on Squarespace or whatnot. What's difficult is building a good website that does its job correctly and to its full potential. Like you said, the it is our storefront. Right. We usually don't have, you know, we're oftentimes in, you know, commercial parks off the main scene, um, you know, with our gyms and, you know, we don't have a fancy showroom. That is the showroom. That is how people are, you know, making the decision on whether they're going to check us out or not. And, you know, the overall initial perceived value and and all of these like little check boxes that that, you know, people go through when they're making those initial buying decisions and building a website that actually matches the quality of what is what happens in the types of gyms that we work with, that is the tricky part. Because until you know how good it can be, you don't typically know the difference. I know I was guilty of that at one point too, where I, I didn't realize how much I was missing out on by trying to do it myself or taking the cheaper approach and just having a buddy slap something together for me and say, oh, well, technically that's, you know, it's got our logo on it. It looks, it's got some cool photos and there's a contact form. There is so much more that the site can do for you in not only that initial lead acquisition and nurturing and all that, and setting that initial, uh, 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 how can I say, um, that initial mark of quality and kind of respect of what they're about to get into, but also for ongoing engagement. Your members can, are coming back to this thing for your blog posts, for content, et cetera. And 
until you really see how much it can do for your business when you do have a great site that has all the right things in all the right places and guiding people the way that you need to guide and segment the way you want to segment and tells the right story rather than just having basically an online business card. Um, it, it's, it's a huge difference. And that is specifically what we spent the last many years uh, working on. I, I mean, you know, I was doing that already before you and I were working together, building these types of sites and templates and um, had the privilege of working with some really incredible gyms and developers and whatnot to, to get a lot of experience in this. And man, it makes such a difference, particularly for this, you know, the independent gym owner. So go ahead. Without question. I mean, it is the website is a trust building exercise at its, at its base. Mm -hmm. right? If I go to three different sites, because there's probably three different CrossFit uh, gyms in my area, right? I'm going to check out three different sites. The one site that looks the best or loads the fastest, or has the clearest call to action is the one I'm gonna go through, period. It is simply getting over that trust hurdle immediately. And that is that is the number one thing uh, with a website. You have to get over that trust hurdle and it's literally like the snap of a finger. That's how quickly mm -hmm. uh, it happens. Now I'm on, I'm on CrossFit sites all day. Or, you know, we're checking them out, we're seeing what's out there. Um, this is a, a problem in the industry. Big time. It, it just is. It, it's been that way from day one. Um, one of the draws of CrossFit is it is the Wild West. You could build your business however you want. But the other thing is they say you have to check this box and just have a website up. That's it. They don't talk about you really need to have a great website and these are all the things that it needs to have in it and this is how it should be displayed and this is the journey you should take the person on. Headquarters isn't saying that. They're just saying, check the box, please. Make sure you have the site up. And then if you look, a lot of people just decided to check the box <laughs> instead of really thinking, oh my gosh, you know, if I went on this site, would I click the button and would I fill out the form? I'm not sure. So what we've done is we've said, okay, I can build this now at scale so I can get this in your hands and it won't cost you a lot of money and it'll be awesome. So now there's no excuse. And so that's, that's why we keep down this road. And one, one thing I want to point out, um, you know, what you guys have built, you know, I, I want to kind of differentiate now between what SiteRight.io is versus what most people are used to, right? Because most people are used to say a WordPress site, or maybe they've built something on their own on Squarespace or Wix or something like that. Um, can you kind of walk us through some of the, the major differences aside from, you know, that it's, it's, it loads faster and you know, it's, it's more cost effective. What are some of the like specific differences that, you know, a gym owner would experience in putting something like this together or having a platform like this? So let me, let me try to, let me try to broaden the thought process on, on a website, right? It's uh, typically people, when they think of a website, it's just your online presence, right? Mm -hmm. This platform is really your digital presence in a greater at a greater scale uh, for instance uh, almost every gym now has screens in their gym right that's valuable real estate to promote events athletes other things okay your, your store your pro shop all those things that is an underutilized space in most gyms but by us building this platform now we can tie into that easily so that becomes part of your digital presence it's just not your online store okay so that's a differentiator between uh, putting up a, a, just a single WordPress site or a single you know, Wix site or, or anything like that. The other thing that you'll notice is um, if you shop around enough, you'll see people are like, oh, yeah, we use WordPress. It's, you know, it's the number one you know, uh, content management system on earth. And it, um, you know, we have all these plugins available to us and all this stuff, right? That's all great. If you're building one site and that's all you need to do and you don't have much customization that you need or any other kind of functionality that you need, it, it works great. No problem. That's why we built it automatically integrated in with the marketing automation. That isn't normal. Like that, that had never been done before. <clears throat> what that doesn't, what you don't know about that is just because you have all those plugins doesn't mean any of them are any good to use. Okay. And you have to be careful because if WordPress updates, you have to make sure that plugin continues to be, you know, to, to be updated so that it still works and doesn't break your site. 
becomes a security risk at scale, right? Because I can't have 500 different sites and everybody uses a different plugin for an Instagram feed. If, mm-hmm. So because I have to then manage that. If it breaks, they're calling me. They're not calling the guy that built the plugin, right? So that's a problem. So how do you manage that as a company? How do you manage a WordPress setup at scale? The only way to do it, the only way to do it, and I know this from experience, is to limit what you're allowed to do. So we'll limit the number of pages you're allowed to have. We'll limit the number of changes you're allowed to make. And I find that a limit to put on your business as a gym owner, that chaps me. Like, don't tell me I'm limited. I have an unlimited potential here to help as many people as I want. And if I have 50 other things I need to do on my website, I want to be able to do that. So don't limit yourself uh, by going down that road with a company that limits what you're allowed to do with your online presence. Our system is unlimited, unlimited pages, unlimited users, unlimited uh, landing pages, squeeze pages, and it's gonna be unlimited in terms of where it can go with your digital presence because of the way we manage content compared to other, other services. So that's really the big differentiator. And I, and I think to just to clarify that um, to some of our gym owners, you know, a lot of gyms have to have their website, then they manage the different plugins, they manage the different kind of third party apps that kind of bridge the gap between one software and another and Zapier. And then they say, okay, well now I've got this ad campaign, so I'm gonna set up my click funnels or my lead pages. And that's a whole nother thing you gotta do and build, and then you gotta link it and all that. There are so many moving parts and things to deal with and manage doing it that way. The siteright.io platform has all of this built in as far as like the, that core functionality. So for example, if I wanna spin up a landing page for an ad campaign, you guys have literally dummy proofed the process because we know the best practices on building a good landing page and the things that you should be considering and the layout and all the things that kind of like a checklist now are literally provided for people so that now you don't have to run all these separate extensions and services and things that create this discombobulated experience. It's a nightmare to manage. Um, and that's, that's the concept here, right? Is like, let's just build it ourselves correctly and make it so that it is just built in, designed specifically for a gym owner, not just for a, a, a small business owner, but specifically for a gym owner that runs this type of business model and let's optimize it and put it on rails. And from the website building itself and what call to actions to include where and what to think about, um, I don't wanna let too much uh, out of the bag here, but just from what, what I know and how this was built and what was considered in the design and in the user interface and in these core functionalities, um, no, I have literally never seen that in any other system, in any industry for that matter, that's this specific for the business that it's serving um, with the kind of horsepower that you guys have put behind this because you guys built this literally from the ground up. This is not taking another CMS and this other tech and this and, and kind of you know putting a skin on it and calling it our own. This is literally from the ground up, literally every single element, which is what makes it faster, which what is what makes the SEO completely next level and not just using kind of the way that WordPress does it. There are better ways to do that. And Mariano, given his experience and the, and the caliber of platforms and clients that he would serve, like Universal Music Group and all these other huge companies that will not spare any expense to get make sure it's the best at, to deliver what it needs to for their artists and so on, we brought all of that into this platform. So gym owners are getting something, getting access to something that works so much better, so much faster, and is has considered all the things that they need to do and makes that available and will be available as you guys continue to develop and keep adding new features and cool new things. I mean, the list you guys have is ridiculous of it, it what is, this is going to be doing in very short order. It is. And it's, it's, um, we have, we have, you know, clients that come to us all the time and say, Hey, this is what we want to do. And I always say, hold on a second, let's take a step back and let's not, don't tell me what you want to do. Tell me what your goal is, right? Let's start at the goal and then figure out the best way to get there. Right. right? That's exactly what we've done with this system. And I can promise you that no matter what it is as a gym owner, you want us to add into the system, 
that's how we're going to approach it. So what is the goal? Like, why do you want to do this? Right? What's the, you know, what's the, you know, what's the user story as we say, right? What's the story here? So what's the goal? And now we'll say, okay, well, if that's the goal, let's think about doing it this way. And then we'll, we'll deliver it in a way that's best practices and best in class. That is a commitment that we've made. We will always be innovating ahead of other people uh, out front. Uh, and now that we have our own platform that we own, okay, and so we own all the integrations, we own the functionality, we own all of that. Now we have to put our stamp, stamp of approval on it and go through our process. So it is, um, and this is only for fitness. So this is, we built this entire thing just for uh, the gym owner. And like you said before, or that is unusual. T- typically, if you're going to build something like this, you're going to build it, uh, it for generalities, like anybody and everybody can use it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we want, we want the data model to be specifically uh, for the, fi- the, the small gym owner, and we want it to be right. Uh, because once you have that right, now we can build anything. And now the relationships between the data are super powerful. Your content is future proof. You're, we can create relationships and events that WordPress just would only dream of being able to do because this isn't, you know, it isn't that solution. Mm-hmm. It's way more complicated, uh, but a lot more customizable. Love it. So, what? Uh, how is this going to uh, positively affect the the gym owner community and their members? What does this do for people? <sighs> this allows you to access. Uh, best-in-class website presence today, eventually digital presence, uh, at a price you can afford, period. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be less than everything else that you've ever seen out there in terms of cost, uh, and it's gonna be better. Uh, and, it's, and how do you do that, John David? You know, how does that make any sense? It's called you know, economies of scale. We've mm-hmm. built it so it's scalable. Um, we've built it so we can, we can have 5,000 units. We've built it so that we could have 5,000 units and all the sites can look different because it's your own recipe. You could change the recipe around. Mm-hmm. So it isn't a template. It's one great big template with however many recipes people can dream up. And so it allows us to deliver features and benefits to our, our customers uh, quicker and, and better. Uh, so it takes us less to uh, support it in terms of the number of bodies we need to have so in turn, it costs less. So it's, uh, that's the benefit. It's you are gonna be able to put your best foot forward online every day, all day, no excuse. Because this is affordable for every gym owner. It doesn't matter uh, who you are, what, how big your gym is. If you're a brand new gym, this is affordable. If you're a 500 person gym, this is affordable. There's, there's no, no if, ands, or buts about it. Love it. Now, um... You've, I mean, how does this positively affect then the existing gym right clients who are on the platform today? And obviously they're getting upgraded and seeing all the benefits from this already because they were on the system which was best in class to date, right? And now right. we're rolling out the next iteration, this, this whole new era, if you will, of the technology that we're using and what we're able to provide them. What, what changes? So um, from a... The easiest thing is we're simply just replatforming what they currently have, kind of in a one-for-one, one, uh, onto the new system. So that's the first thing is to get all the data and all the all the all the blog posts and everything they've had over the years and shift it over to the new system. It'll still tie into the automation just like it does now. So from that perspective, they won't notice much difference. They'll have a different login. They'll begin to see changes and features that get added uh, a lot quicker or. or you know, and we'll be proactive in telling them about it, things that we couldn't do before because maintaining and supporting what they currently have is, is labor intensive. Uh, so now we can actually start delivering better services to them, different types of integrations, different types of processes and how you, lead, you know, manage your leads and different modes of communication with clients. Uh, not just email or phone, it's also text or Facebook Messenger or bot or whatever it is. Those are all now in the in the ballpark in terms of possibilities because we've built the foundation for them uh to move forward um so they're going to get the site 
uh, they're going to get the new platform. Uh, that's going to happen here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll start turning those on. Uh, and so uh, we had to build, not to get too technical, we had to build an unbelievable migration system mm -hmm. um, that has taken us a lot longer than we thought it was going to, um, to be able to do this. It is, it's crazy uh, how difficult it is to take dynamic content, like in a blog, and to shift that over to another system. And, and because we're managing those uh, media assets differently in our system because they can be managed differently for a lot of reasons. So they can be displayed on different types of screens and that kind of stuff. So they get managed differently. Um, that's been the biggest hurdle, uh, but it's also set us up uh, to be able to do a lot of cool things in the future in terms of migrating other types of data and other other things. So that's a, a story for a different day. But um, but no, they're going to enjoy this. Uh, the experience is going to be great. The mobile experience is going to change. There'll be some minor presentation layer differences, the, the menu, the footer, uh, those things to change. The typography, and I know this sounds silly, but our typography rules will completely change the look of their site just for that. Because mm -hmm. uh, the way typography fits on a site and the way it looks in mobile and how it, ha it needs to be maybe a little bit bigger so you can read it and all those things, all the way through all the breakpoints and all the different devices, that is an enormous uh, improvement over what we currently have because we hired one of the best designers on earth uh, who happens to live in Portugal uh, to build out our typography uh, rule set. So that way, no matter what you do, it's gonna look great on every device. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a big deal. And I get excited about it because it's, I know how complicated it is and right. I love solving complicated problems, but everybody else is probably like, okay, John David, that's enough. But um, but that's, that's the kind of stuff you can expect from us. Love it. Yeah, I know there's a, a lot of people who are excited to be getting uh, on the new system because uh, we've been teasing it a little bit um, to you know to the existing clients, and uh, you know I think for people who are on whatever their current system is um, and who are listening to this, uh, there's probably some light bulbs going off as to like wait a minute, that sounds pretty awesome, and I know that the typography thing you know to you and I is is a lot cooler than it may seem to them at first, but those Good are the question. those are the details those. The, those breakpoints, those typography rules, those are the things that you don't think about as the end user putting your site together, but that when you look at a site, you're like, man, why does this one just look better? Why does this one just feel better to interact with? It's those subtleties, it's those decisions, it's thinking all of those things through thoroughly and then making sure that every single T is crossed and I is dotted so that it makes it as easy for you as possible. Just like how, you know, when you're a coach and you're teaching an athlete, you make it seem really simple when you're, when you're teaching it to them. That's, that's the magic of being a great coach, right? You, they don't need to know the million different iterations of, you know, this cue or this movement or this progression or regression or all the things that you know, you just make it really easy for them to, to get the best results safely and enjoyably. It's in essence exactly what you and the team have done in, in when it comes to the technology side uh, website specifically, but it's so much more than that, especially with what's very shortly around the corner. Um, like you said, the whole digital presence concept, like this is going to expand far beyond just your website and start getting into a lot of the other aspects of the business because it is a completely different type of technology and the thought process and the effort that's gone into it. So I just want to commend you and Mariano and the team uh, who've been, I mean, just slaving away at this thing. Uh, I mean, for, I mean, we're a year and a half here between when we first sat down with Mariano and, uh, you know, where we are today. Um, you guys have built something absolutely incredible. And, uh, you know, as someone who works with gym owners every single day, all day, you know, I see what people still have. You know, and you know, I, I come across so many gym owners and, and people who are passionate about making their impact and have put everything on the line to start this business and grow this business and make that impact in their marketplace. And then I look up their site and it's like, oh my gosh, how, how are you even alive with a, a presence like that? Yet, because, the, but they're trying so hard that they are still able to push through. And it's for all of those people that I think you know, what you've built with siteright.io 
this now enables all of those people to have a shot because now it doesn't cost thousands of dollars to be able to just go through the build out and it takes a month, month and a half and all of this work. And it's really at the end of the day, just based on whatever that designer's experience or understanding is of marketing in your industry, um, to hope that it's gonna accomplish what it could. And you guys have taken now, I mean, it's tens of thousands of hours of hands-on experience in building sites, making adjustments, looking at the data, what's working, what's not working versus what, you know, we have an idea, we test it, we see what actually happens. And that's all led to where this is today. Uh, and I think that, you know, this is going to revolutionize the, the, the digital presence for gym owners and what they're able to accomplish and lead flow and lead management and the experience even inside their four walls because this is all going to be getting into even that it's, stuff it's, here. It all gets tied together. That's yeah, exactly right. Uh, yeah, it it not, is it's, so cool. It's not separated any longer. Correct. It, it, it'll all be together. Love exactly it. Exactly right. So no, um, it's, uh, it, it is amazing. You said, you said something that, that, that kind of caught my ear. It's you're right. People come to you and they say, look, I need help. I need you to help me. I need, I need to be set up, right? I need to be part of the foundations program. I need to spend eight weeks with you. I need to learn how to run my gym mm -hmm. uh, efficiently. And then you go to their site and the first impression you get online is not great. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we'll spend thousands of dollars to get help, but now, you know, we won't spend thousands of dollars to buy a site. Well, now you don't have to, right? Now you right. can spend less than a couple hundred bucks and you've got a great site, right? right? So it's, that's, that's now the difference in the space. It's like, you can still look great for a little bit of money and then go figure out, you know, with you and your coaching team, how to run your gym correctly uh, and efficiently and uh, profitably. And, you know, now they're spending the money in the right place because now they're getting the help they need. They need their own coach. That's the same thing they do with their clients. Uh, but we could take care of the digital part and they're, they're going to look like a million bucks uh, right away. So it'll be good. Love it. Um, I, I, I'm legitimately excited about all the people who get to have a better shot at their business now because now there isn't that huge financial roadblock of you know and 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 resource from time and energy and thought of like having to figure out what to put in there and what's the right kind of copy and where should i put what calls to actions and mm -hmm. that is all built into all of that logic all of that that intellectual property that we have of doing this for so many people is literally built into this software and the backend interface so that you literally cannot screw it up in, you, you cannot build a Not site possible. that won't be better than literally everything else that's out there, let alone if you've got a little bit of creativity and some good imagery and, and media to add to it, now you're cooking with gas. Um, all right. So I know you've put together a borderline crazy deal that is exclusive for <laughs> the members of the network, which is why we titled the show what it is. Um, yes. You know, what are you offering the gym owners in the network? So first, I want to tell you what my goal is in terms of supporting the network. My goal is to have every single gym owner in the network on our platform, period. Okay. I just want to state that for the record. So here's how we're going to start. We are going to offer uh, the opportunity. So for the first 100 people that would like to sign up and, and be part of the platform uh, and upgrade their online presence, uh, we're going to offer a site for $1,000 for five years. That's $16.67 a month. That's what that comes out to. You pay $1,000 up front and you get a website for five years. Now, what else do you get? Because that's not that's not the only thing. And I'm going to start sounding like the, the ShamWow man. Uh, but <laughs> Keep going. It's, uh, but you also, okay, you also get access but wait, to there's more. private. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Uh, so private office hours, okay? And what does that mean? That means you're going to have access to our product owner, to our lead uh engineer and to our customer success team on a weekly basis. So you'll be able to submit questions, uh, you know, pre-submit questions. Uh, we'll talk about roadmap for things we're doing, what's next, and we'll answer those pre-submitted questions. And then we'll answer ad hoc questions as, as they come up. Uh, so this is your chance to, to kind of craft and shape where we go on our roadmap. I mean, we have an idea today but if gym owners at, at, a, at a high clip say, no, 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 this is what we need first, then you know what? We can accommodate. We can, we can the way that we do our development 
allows us that type of flexibility. So, uh, so you're going to get closer to us in terms of how we build product and what solutions we bring to the, to the marketplace. And then the last thing is, if you want to be part of this first 100, uh, you will get preferred pricing with us forever, as long as you're a client. Okay, so as we bring out new product and new offerings and new solutions uh, and new benefits, you'll always have, you'll always be paying the lowest price of any client that we have. Um, and so that's for the first 100. I don't expect this to, to last very long. But so Probably we've got not. A, we've got a cap. <laughs> um, so, but once we fill up, um, I have I have other offers that are going to follow right behind. We have another offer for another 50 sites. It's not going to be as good as the 100, obviously. And then we have... Uh, we are going to have an ongoing uh, discount on all products that we sell forever for network members. Okay, so this is a membership that pays because uh, you know you have the privilege. We have the privilege of hosting the network, uh, and we're we're really proud of it. And I want to make sure that we're supporting those folks. You'll have an ongoing discount um, available to you to do business with us. I can, I'm going to make this promise is that we will always innovate uh, and we will always empower you to succeed and um, we will exceed your expectations as well. And it's, it's important to us uh, to support this community. Uh, this has done so much for us. Um, so. Love it. Uh, I can see your passion in this, John David. I mean, I know that because I know you and I know how much heart and soul uh, and blood, sweat and tears you put into getting here today and, and building this thing. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, humble beginnings, you know, you and I, yes. um, you know, several moons ago, um, <laughs> you know, and, and where this started, where to where you've taken this. Um, so hat off to you and, and Mariano and the team uh, in all the energy and that you guys have put into building this thing. And that is, that is an insane deal for people. Um, and yeah, at, at risk of sounding like, you know, this is just some, some offer or pitch. It's not, it, re, it legitimately is um, something that we're hoping to, to give to the network and those people who are willing to come on board for those first 100 and, and help, help in the development. I mean, you're gonna directly get to influence how this thing works and what it's going to be able to do. I mean, to I'll let the cat out of the bag on one thing that I know that you guys are already working on is deep integrations with the member management. Some of the most popular management platforms that are out there that you run your gym on, not like you put the widget on the site and that's the integration. Like every other website company in this space says like, oh, we integrate with Wattify, with so-and-so, and it's just the widget. No, it's actually integrated. It's actually plugged into that system and will do things that you could never do with just those, you know, wrappers and the things that you do to, you know, put it on your site to make it just look like it, um, which is so, so cool. And, you know, there, there are so many of these features and these things that you guys have lined up in these conversations that they are going to get to be a part of that is uh, really one of a kind. Uh, so I encourage you guys, right. if you're watching this or listening to this and, you know, this seems like it could be of interest. Uh, JD, you broke it down to the ridiculous of the 16 some dollars a day. Um, <laughs> it is legitimately uh, but, crazy yeah, uh, value wise what someone gets out of this. There's literally nothing else out there that's a better than this, um, let alone at that price point. Um, so right. get in on that first 100 if you can. And if not, then I know, like you said, you've got some other stuff up your sleeve here for uh, some later adopters. Um, right. So how do they how do they do that? So they need to just just write in. I, I want to be part of the first 100 or something in the comments and and we'll reach out to you directly. Uh, and so what we're going to do kind of to get people started is we'll do a, a site kind of strategy call with you. It, it should only last maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we'll go through your current site and we'll just kind of give you some pointers or three or three to five things that we know we can improve overnight. Uh, and then if you decide to move forward, great, we'll take care of it then. Um, so we've got people that are waiting. If you just want to comment in the, in the thread, we're happy to take care of you. Yep. Just put the, put your, uh, if you're interested, type something in the comments below so that we know, um, and they're going to get to talk to you directly, right? Correct. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Awesome. I'm taking all those calls. So my calendar will be available. Love that, man. Um, all right, final question. You know what's coming. Uh, in one sentence, if you could give one piece of advice to a gym owner, what would it be? Don't sell yourself short. You can do this with by partnering with the right people. 
find people that are as passionate about what you do as you as you are uh, and and partner with those folks and go for the ride with them because there are people out there uh, that want to go on the journey with you and those are the people uh, that matter most agreed man love it JD thank you so very much for coming on today um, uh, it's a privilege to get to be a, a part of this and, and help share the news with everyone here in the network uh, and everyone who's listening, which by the way, if you are listening to this on uh, audio only on podcast, uh, head on over to the network. It's our private Facebook group um, for all the motivated gym owners of the world. We've got great conversations, tips, strategies, how to's, people sharing their best tricks in there. It's a beautiful place and there is no complaining, whining and all the other crap that we see in the other Facebook groups in this industry. Um, it's, it's a good place to be. And uh, obviously like JD just uh, described, um, there's some serious perks um, with SiteRight. So JD, again, thank you so much for coming on today. I appreciate you and uh, you taking the time and uh, yeah, where can people find more about you and, and SiteRight? So uh, we have uh, the SiteRight.io marketing site will be up uh, the first part of next week. Uh, so you'll see that site and then it'll have a bunch more information. Uh, you could schedule time with me prior to that because it's not gonna be until next week anyway. Uh, we'll have a demo site that, that we'll, you'll be able to get access to. Um, and, and then once we move over all of our current clients, Obviously, you'll be able to have those sites that you can look at and check out. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, we're we're super stoked. Um, this has been a, a big journey, uh, but this is a big step for us as a company. It's a big step for I think for the industry, uh, and we're looking forward to it. Awesome, JD. Thanks again. Uh, have yourself a, a good weekend. And I also want to thank uh, all of you motivated gym owners out there for joining us today. Uh, if you're interested in uh, learning more, like JD said, go ahead and head on over to SiteRight.io. Um, or if you want to take advantage of that first 100 offer, type it into the comments below. Um, I know this is going to go fast, so uh, don't delay. Uh, thanks again for all your support. Now get out there and build something that matters. We'll see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.